we are. Right, part three. Let's uh, continue from where we stopped earlier. Probably have more of my monarchies. Let's find out. Oh, it's monitor. Stay close. Right. Stop! What? Motion sensors. They'll trigger an alarm. We'll be found. Invisible to the naked eye. They could be anywhere. How will we get through? Yep. I did this earlier, apparently the saving thing in this isn't the best. I hate that we can't just manually save a game. I did this earlier on and I've got to do it again. Luckily it's not too difficult. over with. But yeah, this is pretty much the easiest part of the stealth mode. Not that the other part was really that difficult. I got caught once by a guard. No big deal. It's quite easy. You probably just run through that entire section of the game in stealth. This isn't exactly a game that requires a lot of skill. More like just point and click. But the story is good. So far, I think, in my opinion. started. Utari, don't do this. We defend ourselves, but we don't kill on this scale, this level of savagery. There's no such thing as a bloodless rebellion. I don't know if we should keep going. So much death. We'll make sure they didn't die for nothing. What we learned here could save the rest of your people. Okay. Okay. Whatever happened here, it made the Illidians abandon the mines. Let's find out what they're so scared of. Otari and Elidian, both sides, took a beating. The Hotari fortified the side of the room opposite the door. It's a good tactic, but a few crates aren't going to stop fully armed Elidian soldiers. How did they win? Make sure there's nothing here I need to scan. Although, like the game said, when you're coming near something is scanned, the uh, tricorder says there's a wee beep. From the blast marks, it looks like the so, Elidians had far greater firepower. All you've got to do is listen for the beep, and. Is this the effects of an Elidian disruptor? Yes. Disruptors are cool weapons. These crystalline particles, they're not dilithium. Are they common in the mines? Not that I've ever seen. The kyber crystals. <laughs> 
footprints. Alidian boots. Running back the way we came. Tylus. What? What kind of weapon did this? This is like nothing I've ever seen or heard of. M my people don't have a weapon that does this. What else can you tell me? Ah, record it. Crystal Grove of unknown origin lodged inside Alidian's skull emits low levels of tetrametric tetra radiation. Star Trek and its fancy words. So one of three identified. The crystals appear to have grown from inside the flesh after our initial penetration. Ooh, kinky. The process ruptured several internal organs randomly. Oh, nasty. The process may not have been fatal instantly. Oof. Makes us to... What have I missed? It has missed something somewhere. What am I missing? Ah, there you are. Now, Lydian heart. Lydians have four hearts. All are stopped, and the veins that feed them are clogged with quantized spin crystallization. Oof. What an awful way to die. This must be why the Elidians are so afraid. Technology that surpasses their own. I'm echoing. The hands of the Hotaru have been it, over for not. centuries. Let me know. Where did this weapon come from? Well, the crystals are giving off tetrametric pulses. If I set my tricorder to search for that frequency, it'll lead us right to the source. Radiation is visible through your tricorder and will lead the way to scannable objects. The four green lights on the left will fill to indicate the tricorder is facing a source of radiation. Ah, oh, so radiation over that way. Right, cool. Let's see what this is over here. No more echoes, good. Cheers for that. This Elidian tried to run. They didn't let him. I think the problem was my laptop, which is also showing the stream, wasn't muted, so it must be repeating the audio and uh, causing an echo. I thought it was muted, but apparently it unmutes itself sometimes. by the same crystallization as the Elidian. Whose side was the killer on? His own. The Elidian shot to kill. But if they killed him, why was he shot in the back? Oh, you're right. The shot came from the side the Hatari were defending. We don't kill our own. And he wasn't just caught in the middle. Can't see what's going on my hand. Tylus, 
You may not want to look down there. I've come too far to... What is this? They've been dumping bodies down here. I... Unforgivable. Galvin and Citron will be made to answer for this. Okay, I'll just sign over here. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to check on in a minute. I want to just... More of these crystals. Another of my people dead. My track on a made any sound. Let's have a look. Think they parked this here on purpose? One way to find out. Need any help? I've got it. This concentration of tetrametric radiation has never been recorded. Whatever they're hiding, it's right through here. This feels strange. The crystals are increasing, growing outward, replacing the soil. It's like an infection, a parasite, growing inside Tau. Incredible. This is definitely not Hotari. It's the remnants of the Takan Empire. I don't think we should be here. This is exactly where we should be. Every strange thing we've seen in this system, it might all come from this room. We need to learn everything we can. What are we looking at? It's made of the same crystalline material as the rest of this place. But I can't tell much else. It might be some kind of sleep mode. I can't analyze this further unless it starts working normally. Maybe we can turn it on from somewhere else. Hopefully. Let's keep looking around. Anything else to check on that? Let's have a look. A lattice of interlocking crystals, I'll start that again. A lattice of interlocking crystals, each with a unique shape and wavelength. Crystals range in size with intricate fractal facets. Power levels indicate structure is inactive. Alright. No one else? Nope, okay. <sighs> Look familiar? It's almost identical to the console Galvin has hidden in the palace. It looks like a control surface. Let's be smart at this.
Somewhat resembles a transporter pad. What am I going to do here? What am I supposed to scan? What am I scanning? I mean, you beep for a reason, Shy Horror. Why did you beep? Okay, so here's my first major complaint about this game. Clearly there's something out of scan, but they've made it so minuscule that you can barely bloody well see it. So you waste time looking for something that's right in front of you. I absolutely hate games that do this. How about that I'm blind? What, am I supposed to peck in the scan here? Track order goes off. And yet there's none here. Change pussies, no. There's <laughs> that blue thing, no. I'll just scan the purple thing. So I'm just basing my time search with something so fucking minuscule. There's only a hay, I need only a haystack. Come on. What am I looking for? Oh, no.
What am I doing? Beats here. For what? I swear I'm gonna bloody glitch. No subject detected. Abraham here. I can see myself on the sheet here and go and look on YouTube. Well, a solution. Because I'm not seeing any here. Well, it's not him coming up. So, yeah, I'm going to cheat. So I'm not wasting my time sitting here with all the same bit over and over again because the developers are too lazy to make it obvious. Or at least make it so there's a clue to find what you're trying to find. So let's have a look. How did that person find that? Somewhere else, I've had that. Okay, I'm going to go and sit on the table. solution wait is there actually nothing there why did it peep Why is this not playing? Oh, don't tell me I've just left the game. If I've got to do all that again. Oh, the monitor's not working properly. Come on. Come on. I'm getting sick of this monitor. Great monitor, great graphics, but this power thing with it is doing my head in now. So according to what I just saw there on YouTube, <laughs> there's nothing else here yet. The tricorder beeps tell me there is. And I've got to do this again now because it's a stupid game to me out of the bloody level. This feels strange. The crystals are increasing. 
growing outward. Yeah, yeah, put them all this. The soil. Again, if you could just manually like sieve, that'd be nice. Infection. That's Incredible. the idea. If a game doesn't manually sieve, shouldn't be allowed. This is definitely not Hotari. So there's a complaint for this game. No manual saves. It's the remnants of the Takan Empire. <laughs> skip that guy, skip it. I don't think we should be here. This is exactly where we should be. Every strange thing we've seen in this system, it might all come from this room. So... We need to learn everything we can. Yeah, just let me go on there. I already have this. Um, clip this again. Somewhat resembles a transporter pad. Stop them. Oh, you're not doing it there now, are you? Look familiar? It's almost identical to the console Galvin has hidden in the palace. It looks like a control surface. Again. What are we looking at? It's made of the same crystalline material as the rest of this place. But I can't tell much else. It might be some kind of sleep mode. I can't analyze this further unless it starts working normally. Maybe we can turn it on from somewhere else. Hopefully. Let's keep looking around. Yes, let's. I want to see if there's a beeping sound again. Oh, that's what did it now. There, that is doing it. That would be good noise. Yeah, there's nothing else here. How are you holding up? I knew Galvin and Citron were dangerous. Now I know they're more powerful than I could have imagined. But the worst of it is knowing they got there by turning our people against their own. This place feels wrong. I'll get what I need, and we can get out of here. Thank you. Is it too, uh, convenient that we found this place unguarded? There's an old Earth saying about never looking a gift horse in the mouth. Why would an alien say old Earth sayings? <laughs> never mind. I thought she's a, what, a ballet or something like that? Why would she quote Earth sayings and not sayings on her own planet? Not a complaint, just a, just a, what's it called, a critique. It only makes sense when human characters say FCNs. Well, you know, it's just me. My random thoughts. As cool as they are, or not. Let's see what's up here. Can your device read this? It can roughly translate the words, but we don't have enough Taconian language on record to understand how it's structured. Oh well. So I'm gonna do that. There's no way I know I can't trust the beeps. So it's telling me I'm saying I'm I don't even know where I was actually in here. Do you in a minute? Looks like some sort of replicator. Hmm. I can't get it to work. It has power. Must be looking for some other kind of authorization. Apparent control surface unknown how to interface with the device. One of three detected the dog right? Quanticized spin crystallization resembles a weapon in form may have been used on the victims in the mines. 
Lepian processor focuses energy to perform replication of matter. What is it? The device's primary function is to transmute lithium into this quantized crystalline compound, possibly for the creation of weapons. Do you think one of these was used on that Elidian and the Thomas? Such a cruel weapon. <laughs> okay. I don't trust the tripod anymore. Is it people because of something there, or is it people because the developers are too lazy to take a beach away after you've scanned something? I just don't know. It's beeping again. And again. But there's nothing here. Is there anything else? That just takes you back to the crack in the wall, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, again, what have you done? Judgmental. Oh, there's some up here. Here. Out of range, right, so I'm going to scan this stupid bloody thing. Why is it always free anomalies? Why can't it just be two or one or... Nothing else coming up. This has got to be the most aggravating part of this game. It's so tedious. For the sake of being tedious.
Was war's? Was für ein Feind hier? This suggests there's some type of complex life form contained within each crystal. Life form? There's something alive in these tiny crystals? That's what it says, but hard to imagine how that's possible. Our science division will have a field day with this. We need to study it on the ship. Go we'll wait. We can really try cover. Ah, so some of the yanktos can see this one. Just making sure there's nothing here. So listen. Oh, I don't know why he's peeping and there's not a scan. Excuse me, Marge, when there's something there's not. I'm not really sure doing the right thing here, because this bit here is just fucking ridiculous. This is a wild miss something. I'm cheating, well, technically I'm cheating, but the game is so vague on what to do next. Stay still. <laughs> and I don't trust the tricorder, beacon away saying there's something scanning when there's not, so. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not too much stuff on that. My games are doing what that person's game is doing. What have I missed? It's activated that. You're staying here as a means of stuff there's nothing to do. But what? There's nothing to fucking scan. See what I could have missed. A stupid little thing. It's always a tiny, stupid wee thing. It's so big. Crystallized lithium compound. Its internal structure is extremely ordered. In fact, the states of these crystals on a subatomic level suggests a storage device of some kind. Energy levels are both stable and ordered, like information. Some of them appear to be depleted. What kind of information do you deplete? Ah, now we're getting to that with a move on the game. They've been so vague. I tried to repeat it for no reason. I see it. What's happening? Someone turned it on. There's no one here. Or maybe the device I saw in the palace can send a signal? Maybe. If that's the case, we may not be alone for long. Let's Probably hurry. Not. I can feel the power coming off it. I've never seen this kind of energy before. I'll need to record this with my tricorder. Oh great, more tricorder nonsense. Oh. Tetrametric radiation. Tetrametric radiation flowing upwards into other parts of this chamber. Levels to the loot to record. Crystal and structure connected to many energy conduits. Its internal construction defies known laws of physics. Apparent control surface lacking any known markings or input devices. Fantastic. This can't be right. It's putting out almost 50 zettajoules of energy. I assume that's a lot? Enough to power this entire quadrant. This amount of power, the, the kind of radiation it's putting out, it's... It's the cause of the storm. The warp disrupting beam, all of it. What do we do now? We get back to the Resolute. They have to know about this. Come on, let's... Uh oh, bad guys coming. Quickly, oh we have to hide. This is 
outrageous! I demand you let me go! No need to complain. You're about to receive a gift beyond your wildest imagination. If anything, I consider it an honor. What is that? What are you doing? You'll see. Soon enough. Uh, uh, I can influence the course of the negotiations. I can make sure the Hotarik the better end of the bargain. So can I. What's he gonna do? Oh. Please, no more big stuff. I can't bother you. Dr. Duvall must not be back yet. That kind of reminds me of the Enterprise D sick way, all of that. She'll get better. She has to. The doc's on her way here to check Miranda out. We did the right thing, bringing her here. She was off, from as soon as she came off the shuttle. Talking about a distress call? I just want to make sure she's okay. This isn't like her. We'll get her fixed up. You should talk to her. Keep her spirits up. to think. Yesterday I couldn't wait to get back on the Resolute. To get back to see you. You can't imagine how stupid I feel right now. I can't even believe it myself. You're not stupid. Not by a long shot. We'll figure out what's happening. We'll get you fixed up. I'd like to believe that. I'm scared, Carter. I don't want to find out that there's something really wrong with me. Something they can't fix. Or even explain. You're in good hands here. There's not a lot that Starfleet Medical doesn't have an answer for. I'm not so sure about that. They don't know everything. Whoa. There she is. Excuse me. It's good that you brought her here. Petty Officer Maris and the rest of the security away team skipped the bio scan when they came back from Otari. And they've been impossible to track down since. We don't know what kind of pathogens they might have picked up. Is that going Sit to... still. This will just take a moment. You're looking at me like I'm some kind of science experiment. Or a monster. It's kind of freaking me out. I don't know how, but I'll make it up to you. I promise. You can't sweet talk your way out of this, Carter. <laughs> what is it? A pathogen? No. That's not Petty Officer Miranda Maris. I don't know who that is, but it's not Miranda. What? And who is it? I couldn't begin to say right now, but 
Comparing the baseline readings I'm getting here with the DNA and brainwave records in Miranda's 15501, well, I'm seeing impossible variations. I guess you could call the process bioforming. This body is Miranda's, but her DNA is changing into something else. But what's more troubling is, there appears to be another mind layered on top of her baseline brain scans. Miranda isn't in control. Someone else is. That explains a lot. But it's not the explanation I wanted to hear. So you know what's happening? Can it be reversed? Just because I can describe what I'm seeing, it doesn't mean I know how it's happening or can put a stop to it. There's a lot more we need to learn. I want to take some functional readings. Take this and get her talking while it scans her. I'm sure you don't want to speculate, Doc. Incinerated as biohazard. Well, that's two normal stuff, for once. I don't know why I did it. Any of it. Nano was synaptic frequencies detected beta wave and delta wave outputs and established norms, whatever that means. A four chamber. Secretory pump higher than average secretory displacement is detected, whatever that means. But it's like there's a voice in my head. It was telling me to go download the data. It told me not to let you stop me. And there was nothing I could do to say no. But I didn't want to. So this voice in your head, what else does it tell you? It's not like a conversation. It's hard to explain. <laughs> well, I still can. I just want to say... Carter... I'm sorry. I really am. Don't give up on yourself just yet. We can beat this thing. Oh, I'm not giving up. Uh -oh. Kind of transporter pad? Jail Kinos. I don't got one of them. The drive. No, oh, I just one. Ah, whoops. <laughs>
you're never gonna believe this. The reason the Universal Translator didn't recognize that language is because it's only ever been read. It's the Takan language. Oh dear. Get your filthy Hotari hands off me! We'll burn your planet to the ground, animals! Wait. No! <laughs> Interesting. This can only mean our time has come. I'm only sorry I couldn't find the more suitable host for you. All in good time. This is only the beginning. They're working together? An Olydian and a Hotari? They did something to him. It's quite obvious what they did to him. Secure the Cartabula. Cartabula? It's the energy source. Spread out. Search the vault. Uh oh. Go back through the mine. Cut off their escape. Find them. Time to go. Am I going to go black screen here? Am I going to spend a monitor up and on? No. Blocking the only exit. Maybe not. Can you buy me some time? For what? This vehicle looks a lot tougher than that barrier. Hmm. Enemies will shoot at you when you're out of cover. Sparks and smoke from your cover will indicate they're trying to line up a shot. Release the duck and the cover up until the pile is set. If you take damage, we can do a fairly mission. All right. Shit. Enemies will also target your allies. If an ally dies, you will kill them. Oh, great. I hate protection missions. Shit. Fucking hell, let me fire them!
Hold on to something. Image I'd what? Cover of this scale here. That's F image ID equals cover move letter come on developers. You're charging people actual money to play this. Scale equals zero point two I mean, okay. Appears on the left side of the screen you can switch between other spots. Use rejection. I'll try and figure out what that means. Shoot the one driving the machine! Fucking love you. <laughs> Fucking... This is a horrible way to try and target things. Stream showing my laptop here. I don't know what's going on. The lift. We're trapped. Resolute, two to beam up immediately. Resolute, come in. Escape route. Sensors. There is too much interference to pick up the residual transporter signature. Wait, 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 wait. Tetrametric radiation. Of course. I can align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. The crystals emit tetrametric pulses every 3.8422 seconds. Roughly 26 centihertz. All of this is connected. The storm, 
The warp killing field, the crystals, Miranda's alien transporter tech. Okay, I've got the transporter in calibration. There are a lot of biosigns in that mine, all stacked on top of each other. I need something to identify the commander signal. Something loud, energetic. Understood. I'm going to shoot him, don't I? Commander Ryan, oh, not again with this bloody monitor! Interference, but we are unable to pinpoint your signature. We need you to generate a high energy event to help us. High energy event, got it! Tylus, are you still with me? I am. Good. I'm going to shoot my phaser some dilithium to cause a piezoelectric rupture. What? Or a signal flare. Bigger still. Come on. Damn it. No good. Too small. <coughs> Whoa! Dilithium explosion. Is that energetic enough? More than enough. I can lock onto their bioscience now. Through the blade, select targets to transport. You must select all targets to advance. Use mouse to aim, left it with gear. Hmm. We've got their bioscience isolated. Commander, we have your signal. I'm gonna tunnel a path through the ionic interference. Oh no, Ugh, I already did this before. Come on. Got a path. Just gotta calibrate the signal. Use the Oh, this is annoying. How is this even possible? Let's have the game because it's nonsense. I changed the power cord moving the elevator to the stone. We're losing control. 
losing her. The pattern is degrading. Can you hold the signal? I'm trying. Oh, not again. Not this stupid puzzle again. Annoying puzzles in this stupid game. Oh, come on. Finally. I got it. Come on. Captain Solano and Ambassador Spock have just returned from Hotel. Take a look at that. Ryder, I need you on the bridge now. <coughs> oh, look, screen is the black ones. Oh, it's I'm screen here. One hour. The Elidians are preparing to attack Hotari. Status report. The systems are now fully powered. <laughs> All torpedo tubes open. They're preparing to fire. We should hail the Elidian flagship, Captain. Readying phasers if you want them. Stand by. Await my order. Recommendation, Commander. We need to act quickly. Hail the Elidians. Maybe we could talk some sense into them. Hail them. No response. Try it again. Still nothing. The Elidians? They've powered down their weapons. Ah. Uh, you sure about that, Mr. Amat? They're venting some kind of gas from their ship. Hold on. Now all of their systems have shut down. That's unexpected. Commander Irma, scan them again. We have to be sure. No mistaking it. They're dead in the water. What's happening? There's an energy dampening field coming from Tau. Take us out of range. Aye, Captain. Flagship is hailing us. On screen. Zeldi to the starship Resolute. Our main power cores are completely disabled. The more power we give, the more it takes. Running off batteries. Life support systems have failed. Unable <coughs> to ventilate contaminated atmosphere. Admiral, you are about to launch an attack on a defenseless planet. Kobliat, you sided with the Hotari in the negotiation. But that does not matter now. My crew is going to die. Please, I beg of you. You must render assistance. System failures are compounding around my ship. We'll help you. Yes, we will. Thank you. Admiral, excuse us while we devise a rescue plan. By my estimate, the crew only have 23 minutes before their atmospheric mix becomes lethal. While we may not be able to transport the Elidians directly, if we were to transport them from their ship to a nearby shuttlecraft, it should be possible to amplify the transporter signal there and reroute it to the Resolute. The Ambassador's plan is incomplete. An away team will have to beam aboard the Zeldi and set up pattern enhancers for a stable enough signal out of the dampening field. Thank you for identifying my deficiency, Commander Chovak. Jara, I need a senior officer in command of this. Take Chovak and Bedrosian in the shuttle. And get it done. Petty officers Diaz and Edsilar, you will be part of the rescue mission. As will I. 
We will bring the shuttle within transporter range of the Zeldi, then beam you both aboard. Beam us on board? Why? The pattern enhancers must be placed on the Zeldi to make it possible to beam the Illidians back to the Resolute. Gather the pattern enhancers and get to the docking bay. What's this in here? We're going on the wrong mission. Oh, what's that? We're going to rescue the Elidians, the people that oppressed the Hotari, when we should be going to rescue Miranda. This thing that's happened to Miranda is like the Trill symbiosis joining, only worse. And I've seen too many people I care about wiped away by some greater entity to stand by while the same thing happens to her. I wanted no part of it then, and I won't stand for it now. Their bodies stolen and used like puppets. I'm not giving up on her either. We'll get her back. Whatever it takes. Right now, we've got other lives to save. Yeah. The away team is ready. Resolute to Shuttlecraft Melville. You're cleared for takeoff. Acknowledged, Resolute. Melville taking off. Okay, you can fly through rings created by the storm if you pilot carefully. Where am I going? How can I even see that coming? This will never hit once. We are within range. Any closer will put the shuttlecraft at risk. I don't know how close as it is. Preparing to transport the away team. Energizing. <laughs> I could have brought extra respirators. almost completely drained. And the other systems, too. Oh, no. We gotta get to their transporter room. The atmosphere in here is turning to poison. All of these Elidians are going to die if we don't get them out of here. These must close in case of emergency. They don't have enough power left to function. Carter, give them a charge with your phaser. Should make them open. 
One. Really, you can't fit through. Let me get one. Man. Sneaky game. Crouch. One crouch. It has to be a thing I can shoot at somewhere. I am still able to stand. What are you trying to do? We gotta get into your transporter room. Then we can get your people off the ship. sure they're evenly spaced. We need to manually adjust beam trajectory so they connect. I got this one. You get the others. So she does one. That's two. One, okay, how do I do that? All right, the pattern enhancers are aligned and ready to go. Let's round them up. These will boost the signal so we can transport through the storm. We have a shuttle outside this ship that will route the signal to the Resolute. <laughs> All crew to transporter room two. We are evacuating. We're alive. Here they come.
Okay, coordinates. Beam status. Energizing controls. So we can evacuate you. The crew goes first, Harminter. Sir, I mean this. You! Get on the platform already! Okay. The interface is in Elidian, but the layout is the same as the Starfleet transporter. I just gotta do what I did before. Select the people to transport. Plot a path through the ionic interference. How do I... Is that no? That goes through too much interference, it won't work. Oh, okay. not this again. You just have to calibrate the signal gain to get the highest possible output. That wasn't enough power. You need to look for the place where the waveforms are farthest apart. Get in at the point where the lines are farthest apart. That's where the last of the range, the interference is too much. The system is suggesting better transport coordinates. DS the shuttle. You're sitting right in the thick of it. I'm sending you specific coordinates for a clear signal path. Waypoint's been added to the navigational computer. There, Commander. Give or take 50 meters. Oh, yay. More of this nonsense as well. I've got to wait then. I think I hit by that. I'm still near it. Oh, another thing. I think I know where almost. Melville to away team. Energize. Please not again with the fucking wave wipes. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. This is Resolute. We have the Olydian safely aboard. <laughs> we did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Don't celebrate yet, Lieutenant. We've got a lot of people left to save. Right. Sorry. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep them coming. To those in my charge, sir. I must insist you go so you can lead our people. I will see to any stragglers. Yes, that may be for the best. But first, let me thank our human saviors. I'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over. You're very welcome, Admiral. 
Starfleet let you wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. <laughs> We're ready for transport. Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. Available power to the annular confinement beam. I have the Illidians in the pattern buffer, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute. Nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. Oh, not again, this stupid lightning. Man. I'm gonna get heavy fast for I don't know. I am losing their patterns. I need more power, but internal relays are not functioning. I'll do it manually. Do it. I am trying. I will lose the transport if I do not have more time. The signal is resolving. Please! Whoosh. We have lost the fifteen Olydians in the last transport. That was a mistake. <laughs> I regret to report that we have lost the last transport. My comrade. The Admiral. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by the power surge. We can no longer serve as the transporter node. Carter, these readings are off the charts. The source of the storm is on this ship. That must have been the power surge. When it came on board. You're right. The Takan energy source. If they call it the Cartabula, it's here. Intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Lydian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. This, this is an opportunity for us. We're on this ship. We can stay in the shadows. See where they're taking the Cartabula. Do something to stop them. You always wanted the chance to do something big. That's all well and good. But if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner here. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. We do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own stay on this ship that is very bold of you mr. Diaz <laughs> live long and prosper I hear voices down the corridor it will be here soon I'll guard the door you 
Just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here. This whole cargo bay. Crew quarters? High traffic. Easily accessible. There. The aft cargo bay. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! We're locked in. Four to transport. Come on, Bell! No, Bell! 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 saved many lives. But our people on the Zeldi knew the risks their duties entailed. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobak. Have them bring us back. Yes, Commander. Saved as many Elidian lives as you could. And more importantly, you looked after your crew. That's what counts. You have to look out for your own, first and foremost. In the heat of the moment, I just couldn't risk losing Lieutenant Bedrosian. I understand. Not an easy decision. You'd be lost without a tactical officer. Especially now. That's a good point. Unfortunately, the Admiral was among those who didn't make it. I'm sure it's a huge blow to the Olydians. I hope they don't blame us. We suffered our own losses as well. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, Missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hatari or Khan. I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. But I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. See what happens. I'll follow your lead. We can keep this under wraps for now. Oh, 
always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. I made the right decision. Let's just get this resolved in behind us. And the sooner the better. I couldn't agree more. We will. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signature? Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on the oh. It disabled our ability to warp Excuse and me. likely created the Ion Storm. Something that powerful in their hands? We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily. And if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. I would have to agree with the captain. There's no point causing undue panic based purely on speculation. We need to know more before we go off half-cocked sounding the alarm. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their minds. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Olivians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level, bringing individual Takan back to life one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. But the computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. So we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, Meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intentions. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust and trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. With the Cartabula gone, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transporters. Excellent. Commander Ermot. See if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. It looks like I am. Aside from almost running out of Deridium, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You, I don't worry about. Captain, however... Go on. You see it, don't you? He's desperate. Mm -hmm. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to mm -hmm. save his reputation. 
That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you encouraged him. Which was disappointing when you showed you were willing to defy the captain by reversing cold polarity back at Starbase. You've spent enough time with him now, seen enough of how he runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. Don't sugarcoat it. You know I won't. To be honest, I'm worried about him. It seems like the stress of this mission is getting to him. He has so much riding on its success, and I am concerned he'll do something rash to ensure it. To know we see eye to eye on this. And I want to be clear, I care about Solano. I really do. I've been his doctor for years. There are more important things at stake than offending an old friend. If it gets any worse, you know where to find me. Jara. You see, I, I wish disagrees, okay. Monitor your Duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your wound? Like he was never there. You feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be, well... Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sickbay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. We saw the truth down in those mines. What Citron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Lydian. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. What we learned down there will help us win this fight. Truth is power, and we'll use that to stop Galvin and Sidron. If you're right, then it was worth it. I truly hope you're right. Commander Rydek, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. Dun dun dun. idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. If we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takana well, I don't know if the Captain's got one of those things That's in him, but it's possible. Because the Spock and the is on the planet, so the Spock are on as well. Spock's not normal. But the Captain is desperate as soon as it's about to start again. It's something off about it, man. Power cells. Lydians but yeah, you never know, he's got a... A Tacon, what would they call them, Salem? Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Yeah, I've got to wonder about first. No time to look over here. I better follow Major Arminta. Good thing this was here. It made it a lot easier to transport across the ship. If we yeah. took another second, Miranda might have. Huh. The Lydian consoles still have mechanical keyboards as a backup. What's this? Based on how this is reinforced, it probably contains dilithium. A stray phaser blast could cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Better be careful. Airtight and climate controlled. Must be where they put the precious cargo. Should to get the pies. Up there? All right. Edsilar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. 
must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. We shouldn't end this. One. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. Where is it? Like, really, where is it? She's doing this side, I'm doing this side. Where the hell is it? Why is she shooting at the ceiling? There's nothing up there. Ah. Here it comes. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. She had you in her sights, and she didn't shoot. That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her. Not completely, at least. She must still feel something. That is a reason to hold out hope. And a reason to remember the Takan haven't just hijacked this ship. They've hijacked every body they're in. I know she played us, used her sympathies, your relationship to break out of sickbay. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. She just walked through that guy. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takana are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates too. You really think they're gonna stop there? All I know is that more of my people have been lost to the transformation than yours. Not to mention my admiral and the others who didn't survive your rescue attempt. You'd all be dead wasn't a starting guy. Come on, show Our it. losses are mounting. Yours are just beginning. Yeah, you're still alive because of Starfleet, so shut up. Same as you. Moron. Moron. Impudent. Moron. 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 I'm blocked out of helm control. Wanker. Propulsion. And they're closing down systems faster than I can check them. Ah. Ah. They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. Please, no more stupid puzzles. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. Long way from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is alright back there. The Zeldi. That's where we are. That's not exactly news. Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but 
It's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. It doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. <laughs> okay. That should do it. Hello? Can you read me? It's Tasker. Is that you? Major! It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. That's what Tasker, Tasker working do. Are you still there? Hey, Tasker, are you still there? Well Trust anyone else you meet. The Hatari have been transforming people on this ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask. Are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasuka. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasuka well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. Trust goes both ways. We trust you. We trust us. I'll go with that. Until you give me reason not to. That guy you stretch. <laughs> we'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. Can get us there safely through the back routes. I'll stop for these. Speaking of one language, and I think this is where I will stop for the evening and continue from tomorrow because the saving aspect of this game is just nuts. And uh, don't freeze me like you did last night. Oh, good. Just double check it. Yep, yeah, I'm asking. So, thanks for watching. Goes on YouTube. Expect another video uploaded. This is part three, so part four will be on Wednesday next week. Follow Wednesday for me to see in this. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Ciao. Cheers.